Next, the latest national news headlines. Then Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee star in Dracula. Don't! Get. Hey! Complex. Get. Amplex. Roll on deodorants for Amplex total freshness. Sophie Evans. Yes, miss. Andrew Farmer. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. When he didn't turn up, we all thought he was sick. I even did him a card. I only heard he'd been in an accident. When the teacher told us, she started crying. It was a driver that did it. Been down the boozer, hadn't he? It wasn't Matthew's fault. He was my best friend. This summer, what could be better than Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> All that plump, tender chicken coated with our special herbs and spices from two-piece boxes to big-value family packs. Summertime and Kentucky Fried Chicken, an irresistible combination. Oranges and lemons, grapefruit, tangerines, melons, plums, peaches and apples, grapes, cucumbers, pineapples, Peppers and strawberries, carrots, apricots, cherries, passion fruit, tomatoes, pest papayas, Moulinex mangoes. makes juice simple. What's this? Fog. Fog in the med. No, yeah, it's Jethro. It's photography. Jethro. In the bar, is he? But I have a word. And the word is technology. As I thought, dodgy film. Go for gold, son! Quarter colour gold. A film so technologically superfluous, it can give you a happy snaps even when the lights. Not that light. Yeah, take one of me. Handsome, eh? And that's your quarter colour gold. Beautiful flesh tones. Where's Jethro? We'll keep him in the dark, eh? Yeah. Kodak. We have the technology. To find out who makes one of the very best country slices, listen to a couple of Mr. Kipling's rivals. <laughs> Mr. Kipling does make exceedingly tempting cakes. In days of old, a dragon lived. Brave knights he kept igniting. So the local lad piped up and said, "'Tis help he needs, not fighting." So in he lobbed an opal fruit. It did just what it ought to. Cos only juicy opal fruits are made to make your mouth water. The way life is today, it's no wonder so many of us are missing one third of the fibre we need every day. Did you know nine out of ten of us aren't getting enough fibre in our daily diet? As it happens, a bowl of one breakfast cereal can provide the fiber we need to make up that missing third. Whatever else you're missing, Kellogg's All Bran. It can make all the difference. Here are the latest news headlines from ITN. Scotland Yard's anti-terrorist squad are investigating the shooting of a Palestinian in London. Mr. Ali Al-Adami, a political cartoonist with a Kuwaiti newspaper, was gunned down in a street in Chelsea. He's now critically ill on a life support machine. His newspaper was known to be opposed to the regime in Iran. In Iran, the country's foreign minister has warned that it can't permit reflagged Kuwaiti tankers to carry oil through the Gulf. The Iranians claim Kuwait is supplying its enemy, Iraq. Two tankers being escorted by American warships through the Gulf have passed through the Straits of Hormuz within range of Iranian missiles without being challenged. The Americans have welcomed the Soviet leader Mr. Gorbachev's offer of a major new concession on arms reductions. He's agreed for the first time to a worldwide ban on all medium and shorter range nuclear missiles, the so-called double zero option. 
In Northern Ireland, two car bombs have exploded near hotels on the outskirts of Londonderry. A warning was given beforehand and the hotels were evacuated. The explosions caused extensive damage, but there were no injuries. The appeal court will begin considering later today whether to reinstate injunctions against three national newspapers preventing them from publishing extracts from the Peter Wright book Spy Catcher. A High Court judge lifted the injunctions today and said to continue them would make the law an ass. Finally, the Princess of Wales has hit out at the claims of some sensational newspapers that she was drinking too much. She said that, contrary to their report, she was not about to become an alcoholic. And those are the latest news headlines from ITN. Right now, Hammer Horror proudly presents Dracula.